Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple, said, and I quote, Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. End of quote. Today, we shall witness these words come to life as we recognize, appreciate, and admire amazing men and women of Far Eastern University who have shared their knowledge, skills, strengths, love, and life to FEU. FEU has become part of their lives and has been a source of joy, inspiration, and gratitude. Their love for work and for FEU has been the reason for their faithfulness and dedication. And today, we give honor to their loyalty. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Employee and Faculty Service Awards Recognition Ceremony. Let us begin today's celebration and appreciation of faithful service to the university as we honor and sing the Philippine National Anthem. This will be followed by an invocation to be led by one of our awardees, Ms. Asuncion Beliesa. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with humble hearts and gratefulness. We pray that you continue to bless the entire FEU community as well as the service awards and recognition ceremony, our awardees, and all who are virtually gathered with us today. God the Father, please grant each employee with satisfaction at every work they are doing for the sake of FEU. Grant us success in every good endeavor as we serve our students, our co-employees, our community, and our country. Today, God the Father, please continue to give us wisdom and the strength to realize that each award that we will be receiving today is all about being truly blessed as we are part of our second home that we call the Far Eastern University. By your grace, FEU and its administration has sincerely given us, employee and faculty alike, abundant opportunities to be dedicated, disciplined, persevering, and determined to excel. And by this, Almighty God, we acknowledge that they all come from you. All the awards and accolades that we will receive today are meant to be given back to you in honor and glory of your name. Heavenly Father, please continue to guide each and every one of us as we remain steadfast and loyal to FEU. We also pray that you give us the courage to empathize and show compassion to those who suffer the loss of a loved one or who suffer from the absence of work in this time of pandemic. Again, God the Father, we thank you for giving us the FEU and for keeping us in its wings as we brave and stand for future ready learning. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Mabuhay! Isang maganda at mapagpalang hapon sa ating lahat. 
a beautiful day to all who are virtually present here in Zoom and via Facebook Live. To our administrators, faculty members, non-teaching employees, guests, and our 178 awardees, a very pleasant afternoon. In previous years, we held our employee and faculty recognition ceremony in the Majestic University Auditorium, wearing our splendid Filipiniana attires or our business suit, and with our big and warm smiles as we congratulate the awardees and celebrate this momentous event. Today might be different, as we have our recognition ceremony virtually. We may not be inside the renowned recording FEU in progress. FEU Auditorium, but we are safe inside the comforts of our homes. We may not be wearing our Filipiniana dress or corporate attire, but we are clothed with he healthy body, strong immune system, and for some, the first or even second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. We may not be physically present in the auditorium or connected, embracing each other, sending our kisses and touches and warm congratulations. But we are always together in mind and in spirit. And we can always see and send our love and appreciation in all possible ways online. Today might be different but our brave spirits are intact, still burning inside all of us and serve as a driving force behind all. So formally open today's meaningful event, let us listen to the message of our Assistant Vice President for Human Resource Division, Mr. Jefferson S. Aquino. Brave as one, braving boundaries. Nano po maging matapang sa panahon ng pandemya. How is it so brief? The challenges of the pandemic. In its most surprising and fascinating form, today in a virtual space, we brace ourselves to greet one another a new day of hope, care, and bravery because of multifaceted reasons of being, becoming, and belonging as one FEU community. We gather as one to recognize how the gems in us, both the employees and faculty, emerged amidst the pandemic. And the number of courageous persons in 2020 is 71, and in 2021, 107, totaling to 178 brave souls whose spirit we claim as worthy of recognition. What distinguished these two sets of awardees sketches the most engaging response to our historic pandemic context. This is service in its bearish form, home but working, working with home in mind, working to live, and living in a defining work spirit. Na sa kabila ng pandemya, meron pa rin spasyo ang paglilingkod sa ating pamantasang patuloy na lumalaban at tumatapang. I admire all of you brave souls whose noble service to the university serves as a vaccine to celebrate today, your day of recognition. Thank you for the inspiration of service. Pasasalamat, pagbati, Thank you, AVP Jeff. Okay, the, over the years, Far Eastern Re uh, University recognizes the unwavering commitment of faculty, employees, and administrators in providing significant contributions and service to all stakeholders. True to our core values of fortitude, excellence, and uprightness, we remain to be dedicated to our work and to our purpose, exceed expectations, and provide service at its finest amidst challenges and changes. Braving all boundaries, we rise above and continue to be true to our mission as one brave Tamarau. The courage and commitment in all of us stem from the inspiration and guidance emanating from our university leaders, their innovative and purposeful leadership are influential in making us work together in achieving the vision and mission of our university though faced with challenges along the way. Determined and instrumental in continuing the vision of quality FEU education and in motivating the organization to rise above adversities and keep the brave spirits alive is the chair of the board of trustees. In this day of appreciation of our commitment and contributions, our dear chair shall deliver his recognition address. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please join me as we welcome the Chair of the Board of Trustees of Far Eastern University, Mr. Aurelio R. Montinola III. Good afternoon to the entire FEU community. Today, the university honors and recognizes the long and faithful service of its employees and faculty members who exhibited the competencies and core values of FEU throughout their years of experience. Due to the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic, we were not able to hold this recognition ceremony in May of last year. Under the circumstances and strict quarantine protocols, we are hosting the Employees and Faculty Service Awards recognition ceremony virtually this year. For year 2020 and 2021, we have a total of 178 service awardees. I am proud to see that five of them have been with FEU for 35 years and that one employee has part, been part of the family for the past four decades. We celebrate the milestones of these dedicated men and women through the provision of service awards, grants of longevity pay, and financial reward. And I thank each one of you for sharing a part of your lives in carry on with our education mission and enriching our university's history. Congratulations. You are an inspiration to us and the entire FEU community. You remind us to embody fortitude and to strive for excellence in everything that we do. Again, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Chair Gigi Montanola. Leading us in braving the boundaries and in making relevant transformations in response to challenges brought by COVID-19, among many others, is our university president. True to our words that we stand for a future ready learning, not only for our students, but for ourselves as well. Our dear president continued to lead us as we brave the new yet exciting world of different learning modalities and of flexible work arrangements. It is an honor to present to you our university president to deliver his recognition address, Dr. Michael M. Alba. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are recognizing 178 service awardees for the years 2020 and 2021. They are the faculty and staff members who have exhibited dedication and commitment to Far Eastern University for a significant part of their lives. On behalf of all FE stakeholders, I congratulate them for reaching their respective milestones in their careers, and I thank them for their long service to our beloved university. But this year, I really should convey my appreciation for each and every one of us who works in FEU, given what we have gone through and are still going through. Since March 2019, our lives have been appended by the COVID-19 pandemic. There has been so much suffering in terms of adverse health conditions and deaths, as well as economic and financial hardships. As of May 22, 2021, the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases in the Philippines has reached 1.18 million, and the number of confirmed deaths due to COVID-19 stands at 19,946, with both estimates being undercounts because of limited testing and, in the case of mortality, problems in the attribution of the cause of death. Between 2019 and 2020, the Philippines' real GDP shrank by 9.57%, the biggest contraction experienced by the Philippine economy since 1947 
when national accounts data started to be estimated. Moreover, real GDP growth declined further by 4.2% in the first quarter of 2021. In parallel with the decline in economic activity in 2020, the annual unemployment rate registered at 10.3%, up from 5.1% in 2019. This translated to 4.5 million Filipinos who did not have jobs. Yet, despite these dismal conditions, it could be said that we in FEU thrive. We were able to deliver remote learning modes rather well, and they were generally well received by our students. At the start of the school year, we contributed to CHED's High Ed Bayanihan project by sharing our adaptive learning expertise with over 200 faculty members of other HEIs. Eight of our academic programs passed the AUNQA assessment. These are BS Accountancy, BS Business Administration, BS Biology, BS Medical Technology, Bachelor of Elementary Education, Bachelor of Secondary Education, BS Psychology, and BA Communication. ITHM extended its standing as an Asia-Pacific Institute for Events Management International Center of Excellence for four more years. We were recognized as the sixth best performing school in the March 2021 Medical Technologist Licensure Examination. And our graduate, Roselle Ann Leonardo, ranked second with a rating of 88.3%. Finally, we garnered six trophies in the 18th Phil Philippine Quill Awards. We received it an excellence award for the Tatak Amaral Freshman Orientation and a merit award for the FU Learning Journey. FU was also nominated for the School of the Year Award. These achievements, of course, are all because we have an excellent, dedicated, and committed workforce. And so at this employee and faculty service recognition ceremony, I thank and congratulate everyone for these outstanding accomplishments. Let us not, however, become complacent, but instead continue our ascent to greater heights. Far Eastern onward. Thank you, President Mike Alba. Today, we honor the men and women of Far Eastern University who have spent 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40 beautiful years in service to the university with their steadfast commitment and drive for excellence. The university recognizes the long and faithful service of its human resources and the importance of competencies, core values, and organizational norms acquired and practiced through years of experience. Such official recognition is manifested through the provision of service awards, grants of longevity pay, and financial reward to those who have served the university 20 years and over. Last year, the employees' recognition ceremony was canceled due to the onset of COVID-19 with the high number of COVID-19 cases and in strict compliance to government protocols. It is for this reason that today we shall have two sets of service awardees. We have 71 awardees for 2020 and 107 for 2021. We shall begin with the 2020 Service Awardees. In recognition of 10 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Marvin D. Bautista, Health Services, Griselda S. Casas, Library Services, Jelmar M. Duca, Civil Engineering and Architectural Design, Pablito F. D. Jr., Health Services. 
Ibrahim Jean M. Novenario, Library Services. Christine Bernadette C. Rivera, Office of the President. Jacqueline Joy L. Sarigumba, Library Services. In recognition of 10 years service teaching personnel, the awardees are Rosemary M. Coronejo, IS Mathematics. Romeo B. Garlang Jr., IS Language and Literature. Louis A. Gan, Ayorfa, Architecture. Frederick S. Helia, IS Mathematics. James Andrew M. Gasparil, IS Psychology. Maria Lourdes A. Mariano, IS Mathematics. Ryan Christian C. Mercado, IABF Business Administration. Jeremy Floyd L. Pedregosa, IE Undergraduate Programs. Shirley C. Reynosa, IABF Business Administration. Adelaida A. Saldivar, IS Mathematics. Richard D. Tabuena, ITHM Hotel and Restaurant Management. In recognition of 10 years service, administration personnel, the awardees are Martin Emil C. Lopez, FEU Center for the Arts. Jose Eduardo R. Mamaat, Health Services. Juan Miguel R. Montinola, Office of the Chief Finance Officer. In recognition of 15 year service non teaching personnel, the awardees are Maria Teresa A. Agustin, Health Services. Eddie P. Austria Jr., IABF Dean's Office. Simon P. Bumatay, Media Center. Elaine D. Castronuevo, Office of the University Registrar. Marites G. Dakayanan, Internal Audit. Chusdado C. Mangoba Jr., IT Services. Noel A. Milado, Civil Engineering and Architectural Design Department. Ernesto B. Pagyao, Jr., IT Services. Cecil A. San Juan, Student Discipline. Mariana F. Sablala, Logistics Services. In recognition of 15 years service teaching personnel, the awardees are Julie C. Danofrata, Institute of Nursing. Emmy D. Delgado, Institute of Nursing. Joycelyn A. Filoteo, Institute of Nursing. Rachel S. Garcia, Institute of Nursing. Jocelyn C. Lanias, Institute of Nursing. Edelu I. Ochanko, IS Language and Literature. Frida A. Kisaga, Institute of Nursing. Bernadette C. Ramos, IABF Accountancy. In recognition of 15 years service, administration personnel, the awardees are Mark Oliver P. Molina, Athletics. Tommy B. Reyes, IT Services. In recognition of 20 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Lovelia A. Cayetano, Disbursement Control Department. Mary Rosie I. Ison, Cash Department. Alma C. Manigan, IT Services. Elvin C. Ponce, Disbursement Control Department. Milodja S. Reyes, Health Services. Osilito C. Saldana, Logistic Services. In recognition of 20 years service, teaching personnel, the awardees are Paulino S. Ison, IABF Business Administration. George P. Cobillas, IS Tanggapan ng Larangan ng Pilipino. Romeo B. Nuki, IABF Business Administration. 
Caroline L. Falparan, IABF Business Administration. Michelle M. Rivera, IS Language and Literature. Lorena S. Salvador, IABF Accountancy. Leilani H. Samson, IE Undergraduate Programs. Yolanda J. Shoson, IE Undergraduate Programs. Aurelio S. Somera, IARFA Architecture. Jonilyn G. Tankus, IABF Business Administration. In recognition of 25 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Romel N. Anisete, Internal Audit. Rosalinda A. Basilio, Office of the Chair. Elpidia C. Kaagbay, Me Mechanical Engineering. Antonia G. Narval, ITHM, Hotel and Restaurant Management. In recognition of 25 years service, teaching personnel, our loan awardee is Maria Teresa O. Del Rosario, IS Psychology. In recognition of 30 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Yodorica L. Ramos, Disbursement Control Department. Rowena B. Yago, Logistic Services. In recognition of 30 years service, teaching personnel, our loan awardee is Cynthia D. R. Manuel, IABF Business Administration. In recognition of 35 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Lorinda V. De Vera, IS Dean's Office. Isabelita A. Panessa, IS Communication. Janice R. Pangilinan, Accounting and Budget. In recognition of 35 years service, teaching personnel, the awardees are Lolita D. Cabebe, IARFA Architecture. Nenita L. Junio, IABF Business Administration. Marites B. Sanghel, IE Undergraduate Programs. Congratulations to all 2020 Service Awardees. Back when we have our recognition ceremonies at the auditorium, their performances have always amazed us for they were beautifully sang that touch our hearts, filled us with positive emotions, and inspire us to be more dedicated in fulfilling our work function and life purpose. Let us relieve this feeling as we listen to the song of hope, love, and inspiration from the angelic voices of the FEU Choral.
Thank you, FEU Coral. To continue, we shall have the service awardees for 2021. In, in recognition of 10 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Cher Marie A. Bautista, Library Services. Victoria Anna D. Borja, IS Biology. Noemi C. Kalahi, Library Services. Lemuel G. De Leon, IABF Dean's Office. Genevieve B. De La Cruz, FEU Makati, Admissions and Finance Assistant. Giselle M. Dominado, Office of the Chair. Melissa T. Esquibel, ITHM Hotel and Restaurant Management. Ivy Joy T. Fababier, IS Medical Technology. Emir T. Hebrador, Property. Maria Fe R. Inessential. IS Medical Technology. Grace M. Logan, Library Services. Ian Margaret L. McLang, Student Development. Catherine G. Mendoza, Guidance and Counseling. Sophia A. Mendoza, Guidance and Counseling. Percival M. Ramirez, Library Services. Annalisa U. Salaysay, IS Language and Literature. Sonia G. Sasot, Library Services. Brain E. Serigin, Office of the University Registrar. Rogeline F. Solano, Human Resource Division. Richard B. Tobias, FEU Makati IADF. Alan R. Tupas, Athletics. Leia B. Osakdin, Guidance and Counseling. Gerard V. Yap, ITHM Hotel and Restaurant Management. In recognition of 10 years service teaching personnel, the awardees are Edward P. Andaya, IS Mathematics. Ulysses C. Cachillar, ITHM Hotel and Restaurant Management. Jason F. Cruz, IE Undergraduate Programs. Marie Lenore N. De Los Santos, IS Psychology. Maria Arlene P. Disimulacion, ITHM Tourism Management. Anna Pamela O. Honson, ITHM Hotel and Restaurant Management. Alan L. La Grossa, Ayorfa Architecture. Frederick R. Masangkay, IS Medical Technology. Benita A. Meneses, IABF Business Administration. Maria Antonia Jennifer E. Nardo, Ayorfa Architecture. P. R. Ochotorena, IABF Accountancy. Aaron John S. Palmares, IS Medical Technology. In recognition of 10 years service administration personnel, the award is Raquel L. Bakiran, IR for Dean's Office. Catherine M. Katamora, Education Technology. 
Christian I. Evasco, Marketing and Communication. Sheila Marie G. Hoxon, Guidance and Counseling. Sherry May F. Perillo, IABF Makati. In recognition of 15 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Ryan C. Balbastro, IT Services. Irene D. Briones, Publication. Eunice Joan V. Castillo, Office of the University Registrar. Bernard A. Clerigo, IT Services. Osilito A. Jeronimo, Property. Karen G. Menez, Purchasing. Maria Elena D. Paz, Guidance and Counseling. Miguelito A. Reliente, Guidance and Counseling. Danilo B. Talusan, Guidance and Counseling. In recognition of 15 years service, teaching personnel, the awardees are Donna C. Cambe, Institute of Nursing. Jonathan D. Canyares, Institute of Nursing. Jennifer C. Padual, Institute of Nursing. Marisa N. Rubio, IS Medical Technology. Nemencia S. Santos Jr., Institute of Nursing. Moira G. Uy, Institute of Nursing. In recognition of 15 years service, administration personnel, our loan awardee is Coventina D. Madriaga, Center for Learning Enrichment and Research for Students. In recognition of 20 years service, non-teaching personnel, the awardees are Alexander A. Andrade, Facilities and Technical Services. Sel D. Bartolome, Academic Development Office. Salvador B. Bonaobra, Logistic Services. Jem L. Candoleta, IABF Dean's Office. Eric M. Casado, Mechanical Engineering. Simon M. Cruz, IARFA Dean's Office. Mary Grace S. Lasquinas, Athletics. Jomelin G. Lopez, Guidance and Counseling. Leonardo I. Rubilios, Logistic Services. Eileen M. Tapalgo, Jr., IT Services. In recognition of 20 years service, Teaching personnel, the awardees are Tisha Lemuel C. Afontar, IE Undergraduate Programs, Leonardo F. Pada Jr., IABF Business Administration, Joven R. Castro, IS Communication. Jose Y. Dadulia Jr., IABF Makati Accountancy. Maricard T. Dionisio, IE Undergraduate Programs. Greg T. Dulay, IS Language and Literature. Sofronio C. Dulay, IABF Business Administration. Jocelyn P. Lauro, Institute of Nursing. Gina S. Luna, Ayas Tanggapan ng Larangan ng Pilipino. 
Rita D. Morales, ayas tanggapan ng larangan ng Pilipino. Anthony Ian G. Pagong, ayas biology. Jennifer J. Pasqua, IE Wellness and Recreation Program. Mercy Christy B. Samarita, IE Undergraduate Programs. Madonna M. Tejada, IABF Business Administration. In recognition of 20 year service, administration personnel, our loan awardee is Gerald L. Villar, Office of the University Registrar. In recognition of 25 year service, non teaching personnel, the awardees are Alma S. Baroga, Media Center. Sofriano A. Borja Jr., Athletic. Mirella G. Ducot, Academic Affairs Office. Anastasio L. Lopez Jr., IS Communication. Edwin V. Maclang, Alumni Relations. Joel F. Mariari, Health Services. Maria Rowena M. Manuel, IABF Dean's Office. LDC Matandag, Library Services. Antonio A. Pidlawan Jr., Electrical Engineering. Ruby D. Sayat, Legal Counsel's Office. In recognition of 25 year service, teaching personnel, our loan awardee is Veronica M. Dancil, Institute of Nursing. In recognition of 25 years service, administration personnel, the awardees are Asuncion L. Beliesa, Cash Department. Nida B. Bulanhagi, Civil Engineering and Architectural Design. Joselito P. Tem, IABF Dean's Office. In recognition of 30 year service non teaching personnel, the awardees are Annabel S. Shubal, Library Services, Willie Y. Shubal, Student Discipline, to Divina M. Pahutan, I. Psychology. Rosemary R. Ramos, IR Fadin's Office. Victor C. Retardo, Mechanical Engineering. Josefina T. Rosal, Library Services. Helen F. Sadaya, Library Services. In recognition of 35 year service, non teaching personnel. Our loan awardee is Maria Victoria P. Cido, IL Dean's Office. In recognition of 35 year service teaching personnel, the awardees are Maria Corazon S. Abelia, IABF Business Administration. Glenda S. Sin, IABF Business Administration. In recognition of 35 years service, administration personnel, our loan awardee is Marilu F. Cow, Volunteerism Services. In recognition of 40 years service, non teaching personnel, our loan awardee is Maria Veronica S. Reyes, Retirement Plan. 
Congratulations to all 2021 service awardees. May we request all awardees to turn on their cameras for the photo of Ms. Kathy Katamora and her EdTech team will facilitate. Ms. Kathy, please do the honor. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Graciel. Okay, I would like to request everyone to please open their cameras, please. And stop the presentation first, Sir Oli. Thank you. All right. I'll wait for everyone to turn on their cameras for this photo op. Yeah. All right. I have four slides or four pages on my screen here. So I'll be taking four pictures. Just your camera spot. Thank you. All right. All right. First stage. Fun. Third. There are still some of you who haven't opened their cameras yet. All right. I'll have another round just to make sure. And four. Hi, everybody. And last. Thank you, Ms. Gracia. Thank you, Ma'am Kathy. Again, congratulations to all awardees. Let us extend our appreciation and congratulations to all of them. Those who are with us via Zoom, you can send your virtual clap or put your words of congratulations in the chat box. For those who are watching via Facebook Live, hit the like or love button. Truly our 178 awardees symbolize all of us. Our passion for work and our commitment to FEU have always been the source of our resiliency and flexibility, our courage and humility and our strength and optimism. The recent certification of the ASEAN University Network Quality Assurance to eight of our programs, the recognition of FEU as the only Philippine educational institution in the World University with real impact ranking through the FEU Learning Journal, our consistent ISO certification, PACOCOA and PAASTO accredited programs, topping the board exams, international partnerships, and membership, among other achievements of FEU, are manifestations of our hard work, dedication, perseverance, competence, and teamwork. Despite the pandemic, we continue to create, 
innovate, transform, and transcend. Because we are one, we are brave, and we are faithful to service. And as one FEU community, we shall continue to work together as one brave team and live the core values of fortitude, excellence, and uprightness. As we draw close to the end of the program, allow me to thank all who have made this event possible and memorable. The Human Resource Division, Education Technology, Marketing and Communications, and Publications. Thank you for turning nights into days, for making all things possible, and for extending your unwavering support and assistance. Maraming maraming salamat po. Of course, we thank all of you who join us in giving honor and appreciation to our 2020 and 2021 service awardees. Your presence, virtual it may be, has definitely made our awardees delighted and honored and making this event truly something to cherish. Indeed, today is a celebration, a day of gratefulness and a day of inspiration. Let us remember this day in inspiring us to be better each day, to work with a joyful heart and a sound mind, to take care of ourselves as we take care of others, and to be always grateful because despite the challenging situation we have right now, we remain brave and hopeful. Let us keep in mind the words of our founder, Dr. Nicanor Reyes Sr., and I quote, Let us all work together, keep faith together, and out of our common hardships, and out of our common achievements, we shall build greatness and create loyalty for our alma mater. End of quote. This has been Gracia Lintag of the Human Resource Division, gently reminding everyone, stay healthy, safe, and brave. Till our next employee and faculty recognition ceremony. Maraming salamat po at magandang hapon.